Okay, this is the second of three tutorials on how to use Audacity. We just downloaded Audacity and installed it. So now when you run it, it um, pops up with a reasonably easy to understand window. Okay, uh, I'll just show you just some really, really basic tools here. If you want to start recording something, you just click on the red record button and it lays down a track. So you hit record. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Okay, you can stop. I don't think it'll play back because I'm screen recording at the same time that I'm recording on the same computer, so there's too much audio going on. But you normally can play back, and it'll it'll go. Okay, there's all kinds of tools in Audacity. If you want to normalize the sound, you go to Effect and you pick Normalize. If you want to add, change the bass, amplify, all sorts of tools, really. Just play, okay? But now, you say you've recorded a sound, so let me just uh, get rid of this. I'm just going to get rid of the track entirely, hit record. And I want uh, like a definition, so photosynthesis. So I'd record it for my kid. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants uh, take sunlight energy and they use that energy to split water and fix carbon and create an organic molecule that has lots of energy in the bonds, like glucose. So that would be a recording, and maybe I want to put that on my website. Now, I need to make it into something called an MP3 file for it to work properly in eCommunity or in Moodle. So what I would do is I would go export as MP3. Uh, it should just work. Okay, if it doesn't just work, the problem is, if you go under Edit and you go to Preferences, okay, uh, and you go to File Formats right here, MP3 Export Setup, if it says something like Can't Find or I Don't Have This File, then you have to download that file. M maybe I should show you that really, really, really quickly. Uh, to do that, you just go back to the Internet, um, and I'll go back to Google. Uh, Google.com and uh, Google Audacity, Audacity, okay. And now I'm going to go just to the, the front level and uh, and look down here, download Audacity. Somewhere here it says uh, Lame Plugin. Here it is right here, right there, okay, right where it says the Lame MP3 encoder. You might have to download that if you can't just export. Okay, so how do you do here? Okay, well it says go to the download page, so we'll, we'll go to the download page, and uh, and somewhere on here it should say there it is for Audacity on Windows, lame version free, whatever. We're gonna pick on that, and uh, and we're gonna run it or install it or save it if it ever comes up, and and that will be the MP3 file. Then you need to save that to your computer, and you can save it anywhere. I recommend actually saving it in the plugins section of Audacity. But at any rate, this eventually finishes. And then uh, in Audacity, what you have to do is you have to click Find Library. Audacity does not export it with you directly instead. Okay, right, so you have to find the library. So you go yes, and I'm recommending, I mean, you can put it anyway. You can put it right here in your documents. It's fine. Save, the, the, save that link from the other website right there. Um, but I like to put it actually on my OS drive in my program files, in my Audacity folder, in my plugins folder, and there it is, lame encoder right there. And so I'd say open, and now I can export to MP3. And that's a bit of a sideline. If you have problems with technology, just email me and I'll try to walk you through that a bit slower. But anyways, we have our beautiful sound. I want to save this as an MP3, so I just have to go export as MP3, identify a place. I'm just going to stick it right on my desktop, okay? And I'm going to call this photosynthesis okay hit save uh, you can do stuff here I don't really um, put this in but I suppose I should um, this is information that if you're playing it back on a mp3 player or something this is gonna read um, biology 20 well they should know that in bio 20 but anyways not that's good enough okay so I'm gonna say okay uh, it will export, and now I have an MP3 file. Here I can minimize the two programs that I have running. Oh, here it's going to download the, the lame encoder. Um, and you can see on my desktop here, now I have this file called MP3. And in the third tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add that to your uh, eCommunity or Moodle page.